Welcome back to my channel. It's Maya. I am currently living in Las Vegas, Nevada. I attend the university. I, I attend UNLV. And this is my February reset. Um, it's, it's, it's January 29th. I look like a crackhead right now, but that's fine. Um, it's... 8.35 and I'm about to start cleaning my room and doing everything because I need a massive reset um, this week so we're going to start off with our laundry and okay first of all everything I'm here to do today is I have to wash my laundry I have to wash my bedding I need to go grocery shopping I want to go get my glasses like go get a new pair because my glasses have been broke for like months and they've just been held together by Gorilla Glue so I need to stop putting that off and go I might go get a new phone today I'm not like super sure and we're gonna go to Press Juicery and also have self care night because you guys I haven't been able to like show you guys the actual process of doing a self care night so those are the vibes Right now, I'm going to turn on my self-care Spotify playlist, which I literally love with all my heart. It makes me feel so calm, so zen. But yeah, the state of my room. First of all, the elephant in the room. My curtain won't stay up. And if my dad watches this vlog, he's going to be mad at me because he's been telling me to go get a new rod because this one's just too thin to fit what we have up there. So yeah. That's the, that's the issue um, with that, but I really just don't feel like going to go get it. Oh, and we also need to budget and do our bullet journal and all that type of stuff. So, those are the vibes. My arm is hurting right now, <laughs> so I'm just going to time lapse me cleaning and doing everything until it's time for us to like leave or something. <laughs> Pressure on myself like I slept wrong. Hard to be patient when you feel like you slept on. Hard to be humble when you feel like you stepped on. Hard to be real when everybody wanna sit with fakes like press on. Still I press on. Drag the beat like RuPaul. Take a deep breath. Woosa. <sighs> no time for games to the hoopla. I'ma stick to my name like Kunta. It don't come easily. I ain't no deity. There ain't no fear in me. I give all my beef to God. There won't be no steering me. I don't mean to judge, but I don't think they hear me. My price went up, my stock been up Fresh fade, might hit the town, go flicker Down from a dog's long way, no quitter And I ain't going in unless I'm with my Dreaming of some sunshine Dreaming of some sunshine Dreaming of some sunshine Goes up, make it work. If it all comes down, make it work. If I'm all alone, make it work. No one around, make it work. If the whole world crumbles, make it work. When I turn around, make it work. Never surrender, make it work. I'ma hold my ground, make it work. You kept me so long, you still right my wrongs. Hold me through it all, make my demons fall. Help me see my flaws. It's 10.15. I basically did everything. Um, I'm just waiting. My sheets need to be washed. I'm not gonna... I, I just feel like my duvet coverage just doesn't need to be washed right now. But I washed my pillowcases and all that jazz. Um, however, yeah. 
I made all my laundry. It's picked up off the floor. My desks are pretty much clean. Ignore the curtain. We'll just have to figure that out later. But all the laundry off my floor in the bathroom is gone. This is cleaned off. I started my load of laundry for the week. I dumped out my bathroom garbage. I don't know if it's just me, but for whatever reason, like, dumping out bathroom garbage is just such a chore for me. I also want to know if it's just a me thing. I hate hair. Like, hair that's not already on my head, I hate it. So, like, the hair, ugh, the hair on the floor disgusts me. When I have to take the hair out of my brush, literally makes me want to gag. Gag. But, yeah, I put away the dishes, washed the remaining dishes that were in the sink, um, you know, it's clean when you start lighting candles, but yeah, I switched the last week's flowers into over there, and then we're going to buy the new flowers today. I washed the dishes that were in the sink, and then I emptied up the dishwasher, um, our mirror fell, so kind of bummed about that because in the three years that I've had this mirror it's never fallen and when I was in the dorms it was literally hanging above my bed and it's never fallen so yeah I've just been drinking my water I'm gonna wait to leave um until my bedding is done because I want to like come back to an already made bed and just you know just have it extra clean so right now I'm just gonna hop in the shower do one of those that showers because I'm taking a bath so I'm gonna you know shave exfoliate do all that so I can just relax in the bathtub tonight and then um do some budgeting figuring out what we're gonna buy this week and all that jazz and I will talk to you guys after I get out of the shower. I'm dead. Are you? Are you really? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Guys, we're going to go see if I can get new glasses because this is not it. What is that? <laughs> uh, Gorilla Glue. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's been like this since like September. And so you never see me wear them anymore. I literally only wear them when I'm driving at night. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> Anyways, she's over here calling me ghetto in her head. But I did not say fine. no such thing. Yeah, she did. <laughs> that's why she's laughing. So yeah, we're gonna go see if I can <laughs> get new glasses. Haha, <laughs> it's so funny. You know that took me. It ain't that funny. <laughs> Why did you wait so long? <laughs> so guys, we're going to Starbucks. I'm trying a matcha for the first time since working there. Um, matcha tastes like dirt to me. So we're gonna see how this goes. This girl just left her phone in the car. She always does this every time. Watch every time. Every time. Like. Look, what if I, ew, bro, what if I drank that? Oh my God. Okay, so we just had the worst experience at the Starbucks on East, Eastern and Desert Inn. Um, basically, so I got charged for two drinks, even though I only wanted one. And for y'all who don't know, I used to work at Starbucks. Why is this guy like just staring? Hello. Get <laughs> back. What do you want? And I used to work at Starbucks, and when he was ringing me up, he was ringing me up for an ice cream tea, but I didn't want to be that person to be like, he's ringing me up wrong because it should say matcha on it. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. He rings me up for two drinks. So I got charged for two green iced teas with that one has brown sugar. And then this one, oat milk, cinnamon powder, and vanilla sweet cream cold. Brew. They're not even the same drink. Like you would think, okay, if she got charged for two drinks, it's the same drink. It's not even the same yeah. drink. Cause I saw one out of two and I'm like, okay, I literally only ordered one drink. And then on top of that, when she first got her coffee, there was a goddamn hair in it. Fat. I'm talking like <laughs> like a thick fat ass piece long of hair. Ass piece of hair. And I was just like because <laughs> <laughs> the girl's hair was half up, half down, and it's like you work at Starbucks, your hair should be all the way up. Cause there's no reason as to why there's a hair in this drink. And it like you could see it. It was gross. I so, was just like, we're gonna try this matcha, and if it's gross, we're going to the car wash and then going to the Starbucks by the school because no, I don't even want them to remake it. Mm. 
me personally, maybe it's just the matcha I had once. It tasted like dirt. It doesn't me. have brown sugar in it. We're going to the one by the school. Because I'm like, it's not that. And I'm like, but something's missing. It's because it doesn't have brown sugar in it. So they, they were messing up everybody's orders, though. Yeah. Everybody's orders. This was just like a waste of 20 minutes. So, whatever. Jeez. Talk to you guys when we get to Starbucks. Have fun watching us. You speak to my heart, my light in the dark I'ma put the fear on pause, I know where I've been called I'ma make a way from a loss, I'ma put it down at the cross You said love me, love me, you said run to me, run to me You said trust me, trust me, you said you got a plan for me So if it all goes up, if it all comes down If I'm all alone, no one around This is what I get if we're not going to the car wash that I usually go to. Which one do you not normally go to? Um, it's like it's all the way in like uh Blue Diamond. Oh. Cause they I like that they do the inside of my car. I don't Oh do they that. detail? Yeah. I'd be there for like I'm, the last time I went, when did I go the last time? It was right before day in Vegas where I got the inside of my car cleaned out. And um, I was there for like- found the AirPods, right? Yeah, I was there for like 40 minutes. Cause like, they really be getting in my shit. There's one uh, in Daily City that they do exactly like that too. You're there for like a cool, your cool ass minute. Right, and I'm like, it's not even like a detail because you know, detail to like $300. Like, no, it's definitely like a $25 car wash. So yeah, guys, those were the vibes. Um, no vibes at all. None. This is the Starbucks. Oh, you can't even see it. Yeah, no. So yeah, Desert Inn and Eastern. Do not take yourself to that Starbucks because you better do yourself. She's a little trife. Okay, guys, we went to the new Starbucks. Um, I felt so bad because they were all so sweet. And when I had brought the drinks, like one of the, I think she was the shift or the manager or something. And she was just like, oh, I'm sorry, did I make your drink strong? And I was like, no, it's definitely not your guys' fault. You guys had nothing to do with it. Are you good, my guys? Yes. Are you crying? Why are you crying? I'm just very privileged. Miss girl. <laughs> We don't have to drive right now. <laughs> don't cry. I'm like, bro, I have $16 in my bank account, but I'm living fucking great, and this man has no money. He's asking for a coffee because he was cold last night. I felt so bad. So I was like, yeah, of course. Ah. This is good. Want to try it together? Sorry. Are you gonna pee? No. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like like a gingerbread. Mm. Yeah, this is like much better. Yeah. Definitely not nine dollar drink though. It's like seven fifteen. For two? Hmm? For two? No, yeah, for one. Oh. It was like 13 something for two. But they so just how did you get charged? What, they what? recovered it? Yeah, I wasn't paying for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but see how it says ice green tea lot? Mm -hmm. Oh, and it said green tea. Yeah, over there. But this is also shaken with cinnamon. Don't say not cinnamon. Because they didn't have cinnamon. So good. It's really good. Those are vibes. Um, if you guys want to get this drink, it's an iced no, matcha green tea latte shaken with oat milk, brown sugar, cinnamon dulce shaken in, and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. $7.15. 
those are vibes. I know the guy in his fucking BMW is staring at us, and I don't care. There's a man in there? Yeah, he was walking to the car when we were. At least he was. Maybe he went back inside. I think there's nobody in there. Oh, well, he definitely was walking to the car when we got in here. That's good. He does. I told him. Um, what's it called? He was saying something, something. Your beamer. I said, call, him I said, call my Benza Beamer one more time and I'm going to have to whoop your ass. Not him actually driving the car and not knowing what type of car it is. Like, he always calls it a Beamer and I'm like, he wanted a Beamer so bad. I'm like, my God, boy. I'm going to need for you to be a guy and not know cars. It's not adding up. So, we're going to go to Trader Joe's now. After Miss Girl just had a breakdown. Yeah, I did about money <laughs> with no job i applied to hello places though yesterday which I, where hello did you places. Apply? I applied to a few school jobs and then i applied to internships like both like the, mostly remote internships like uh ulta um i applied to like tiktok remotely we'll see um, I applied to another administrative, uh, like, assistance jobs, um, but mostly campus jobs that were more than $10, so. It'd be hard out here. I just can't wait until I get off of probation so I can get my dollar raise. Because then nobody's going to be able to tell me nothing. Now I'm 44 and more days until my ending. I can't wait. Time to jam. Yes. All right, guys. Well, we just um finished our Trader Joe's. Now we're gonna go to Town Square to go to um. I'm forgetting you guys. Oh yeah. Uh, we can just get it when we leave Target. Okay. Or Wait. on the way too. Get it from that Arco. Yeah. I was trying to think of, like the most efficient way, but. Yeah, we had to get freaking hydrangeas because they took all the <laughs> they took all the white roses. But we're gonna go to Town Square so I can go get green juice and ginger shots because Monday is a reset. Um, I'm very excited because we're gonna go somewhere for Valentine's Day. I can't wait to get cute. Valentine's. Valentine's Day. You know, single ladies. Look at me like that. Oh. She doesn't speak for us. I was gonna say speak for yourself, but that means that I would be talking to someone. Right. She's not speaking for us. She's not single. She's planned like 15 years ahead from now. I'm single. Approximately. I'm single. Maybe 20. I'm shootable. <laughs> Never mind. Did anybody ask me to be their girlfriend? Me or you? Did anybody ask me to be their girlfriend? Um, okay, yeah. Sip that drink. I'm single. And I will act accordingly. No, she won't. <laughs> Anyways, we're going. Um, yeah, we had to get hydrangeas, so that's annoying. And then after that, we're going to go to Arco and get gas. And then... <sighs> Not this Mort shit again. King Julian. I love you, King Julian. Anyways, Mort. Those are the vibes. I'm also going to re-budget my life because I think I'm about to buy something. I think I'm about to buy a few things online today. Including cow seeds? No, I probably won't buy the cow seeds yet. <laughs> but cow seeds coming soon. Um, you know what would be cute? Cow seeds in a Tesla. That would be cute. Yeah. Dad, if you're hearing this. Um, this uh, oh, 
whole dip here, so it might. Let's 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 have a little rant, a little conversation that I would like to have because I had this conversation with a few people yesterday about being privileged and about what's it called? I'm trying to figure out which way to go. I was gonna turn here, but I can just turn on Russell. Or yeah, I'll just turn on Russell. Um. Okay. What's your opinion? Are you? Did you get it out the mud? No, I didn't. I mean, there were times where we struggled financially, for sure. But I, it wasn't. Out no, the not mud. your parents. You. Oh, me. Yeah, you. Did you, you get it out the mud? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, don't get mad. I have to add you back to my close friends. I took you off because I thought you took me off. Anyway, I have not been posting. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, she really hasn't been posting. Anyways, I posted on my close friends yesterday because I texted my dad and I said, Hey dad, my, my rent is due on Tuesday. And with the dead man, like there was a, like a conversation that like I never talked to anybody about. But like about like, oh, like my parents didn't like do anything for me. Like did this, did that. Like I did everything myself. Blah, blah. You guys don't know. I'm, I'm well above privileged and I'm very aware. Like if I don't have my rent money, my dad gives it to me. My tuition, my dad pays for it. My car, my mom pays for it. My phone bill, my stepdad pays for it. Like, I, I'm very privileged in, like, real bills I don't have to worry about, except for my rent now. Um, but, I don't see a problem with that. I feel like that's the whole objective to become a parent, is to want to be able to provide for your kid. And my dad has always told me from day one, I brought you into this world, you didn't ask to be here. So I'm gonna take care of you. And I don't understand why it's frowned upon when I see on people on TikTok, like, and people will be like, oh, mommy's money, daddy's money. You damn right. My parents worked hard for it. Like, yeah, I mean, this is a, a different discussion, but the same theme and kind of topic. It's like, oh, I saw a TikTok that was like, you're when your dad is like an immigrant and you, you you use daddy's money and the the girl who had the tiktok was like what you think he immigrated here to be broke like, right no really because even one of the girls who's in the hospitality program she was just like because she's from um nigeria and she's like that's like that's tradition like that's what they do she's like my dad literally pays my rent pays my tuition gives me grocery money like like that's what it is and it's just like i don't understand like why are you trying to make me feel bad because my parents did what they had to do? Yeah. I'm not, like, I, I really, I don't understand that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it's I'm... It's very much an, an older generation mindset because, and I'm going to get technical here. Don't ask me how I know this. Maybe because I was, like, a history bluff in high school. But I had this teacher who would tell us that, like, that way back when, in, like, the boomer age, the theme of America was, like, get it on your own pull yourself up by your own bootstraps so i feel like maybe some parents pass that on to their kids but i'm not gonna pass that on to my own kids i'm, I'm gonna it's take just care like of them so traumatic because even like i'm very grateful because like i feel like my grandparents definitely set the tone by everything that they did like my grandpa is like the like one of the most hard-working men that i know like my my grandpa's still going to work like to this day and we're definitely like okay grandpa when are you gonna retire but like literally i hope and pray to god that like my husband is as hard working as my grandpa is because i've never seen anybody as hard working as him and my grandpa has passed that on to my dad like i definitely feel like from both of my parents i got my parents work ethic and i think that's another thing it'd be one thing if i was being bratty and i was just like oh daddy buy me this or oh daddy give me this give me this Chanel bag or this or that. Like, no, when I ask my dad for money, it's so that I can have a roof over my head Gracious. or my tuition to be paid for or for food to go on my mouth. Like, I don't call my dad and ask my dad for spending for, money for to go shopping. or a car, like, like, that's stuff that I need to work on for myself. Exactly, and I think the thing that makes me also upset is like my mom loved that lady to death. 
she is literally the reason why I am the way that I am today. Like, it, to a certain extent, I definitely think that I'm high maintenance. Like, when it comes to certain things, because when I go stay somewhere, I'm not staying at a motel. I'm not staying anything where I have to it's get to my room standards. from outside. And it's, like, been a big thing with this car. Like, my whole time that I've had this car, it's always been a thing from when I was in high school. If you don't know, I am, once again, going to acknowledge that I am very fortunate and I am aware of how fortunate I am. I have always driven a Benz. I have always driven a Benz because my mom has always driven a Benz since basically I was like three years old. That's all she's ever bought. So if I learn to drive in a Benz, why? I don't, I'm not understanding. Why your kids wouldn't? Or like how people expect for me to not, for this to not be what I drive. And I just want to also say, like, this was literally my mom's car that she gave me. It wasn't like we went on the lot and bought, like, a 2020 brand new Benz. She passed down, yeah. I mean. Like, it's literally the car that she had. If she would have had a Honda, it would have been the car that I would have gotten. Right. I drive a little bucket. It's a 2002 <laughs> Honda Accord. She gets me from point A to point B, okay? I, thankfully, I have never had, like to replace like the engine or anything it's it's a car it's not the car that i want but you know that's something that i need to work on i'm not just gonna sit around and be like okay can i get a new like can you buy me a new car right because at the end of the day like it's me transitioning to my adult life mm -hmm. yes my parents give me things but i can't depend on them for the rest of my life and i hope that my kids learn that as well Right. I think that's one thing that my dad is trying to teach me is that he's not always going to be here because best believe any problem, any ring, ring, Mark King, <laughs> dad, my tires just popped. No, dad, this just dad. happened. Like and him. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm quick to call it my dad. But ever since I've been, because for a long period of my life when I needed something or I wanted something, I would just call my dad and I would, not to say that I would just get it, but like, I've, I've never been a bad kid. Like when I, when I was in high school, I wasn't a bad kid. I didn't do bad things. Like I, that's just not the type of group that I hung around. So there was no reason for my parents to not do things for me because my parents also had the means to do so. A lot of parents are not fortunate enough to do that. Mine, however, are and have been, but my parents are very hardworking as well. Like it, it's, it's for us, it's privilege for them. It's a reflection of all their accomplishments. Exactly. Because way back when my dad was washing dishes in the back of some restaurant at like 16 working different jobs. Right. And, and that's, what's crazy to me is like, it's so crazy having, this is like off topic, but having young parents, because my parents had me when they were like 19 and 20. Or like I think my mom was pregnant me at 19 had me when she was 20 and for me my parents even though like they are very well off now when it was just me when they just had me it wasn't like that like what my siblings see now it hasn't always been like that when my mom and dad met each other they met each other when they worked at the movie theaters together like they didn't have six-figure jobs handed to them once they graduated high school it wasn't a thing and my mom has worked so, 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 so hard to get to, my mom has been in school since I was born. Literally, bachelor's, master's, doctorate, like my whole life, she's been in school. But my siblings don't get to see that. My siblings just see, oh, doctor, mom. Like that's all they see. They didn't see, oh, working at the food bank, Maisha. Like they didn't see that. And with my dad, I feel like my brother really only knows my dad for the most part as a longshoreman. Not when my dad was working at Baronio, like nothing. But I'm I'm very grateful and I'm very proud of how far my parents have come. And I feel like without their drive and without their ethic, I wouldn't have the drive that I have. I mean, I still be having my moments to where I don't be wanting to do, I don't want to do nothing, but. <laughs> I feel like I just always have them on my shoulder. Like, no, these are, this is what your parents did. You can't fail them. Like they worked so hard to put you in the position that you're in now, you just can't fail. No. It sets a standard. And, and I just, I wanna set that standard too. I mean, it makes me look forward to stuff because it, like, 
yes, my parents did so much, but I want to go further. Like, I want to go further than that. It's given like, me a taste. It's always, and I think that's the crazy part, is like, you're, the, I feel like the goal for a parent is to, you always want your kids to be better than you. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the goal, that's the, that, that's what it is. And it's just like, it's crazy because no matter what, no matter how good of a parent you are, there is always times and places where you can do better. Because it's like, for me, I love my mom. Like my mom is, you can ask anybody, my mom is literally my best friend. I call that lady like four times a day. I know she'd be sick and tired of me calling her. She's literally like, in my eyes, my mom can do no wrong. My mom goes, oh, the sky, the sky is a uh, black when it's daytime. If I will go to war for that lady. I will go to war for her. Anybody knows. But for me, because my mom was always so focused with school when I was growing up, I didn't have the mom that would like make snacks when I would come home from school or like wake up and like have like pancakes and stuff like that ready like on a regular school day. But that's what I want to do for my kids because that's what I didn't have. And it's not saying that, oh, my mom is a bad mom because she didn't do that. She wasn't able to because she was working hard to get to the point to where I literally am 23 years old driving beds. Like, it's just, it's, that's just how the way, that's just the way life works. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a very interesting topic that I had because I'm just really tired on middle class people getting shitted on because of the way that they live. Like, I feel like it's not fair. Like, we don't get, um, even when it comes to college and it's time for like scholarships and all, nobody wants to give it to middle class kids because you you don't make enough money to be able to just off, outright pay the tuition and just be like here you go but then you're also not broke enough to get FAFSA like it, it make it make sense yeah make it make sense here's another kind of controversial topic but I, you and I, are, I already know we share the same beliefs I saw a post that was like, huh? Are you sure about that? I'm a thousand percent sure. <laughs> I saw a post that was like, Oh, you're from the Bay Area? You must have hella money. No. I don't have hella money because I live in the Bay Area. No, really. We're trying to afford to live in the Bay Area. Which, the Bay Area is a great place. You know, there's a lot of great things that are in the Bay Area, including like the tech industry and... But it's, when it's you're not in tech, tech, it doesn't matter. It's expensive. And then people are like, well, why don't you just leave? Because some people can't afford to just up and leave. Like, my dad is in the entertainment industry, and what is he going to do? Take the whole club with him? No. And where, where are you? Like, you can't. It's very, because I get that reaction a lot at the property that I work at because, you know, you have small talk with guests and stuff like that. And I'll be like, oh, where are you from? I'm like, oh, San Francisco. I remember this, this. This is off topic, but I just felt like it was, it was, this was a race thing. And this is, this is another moment that I knew that I was privileged coming out here because you guys own your house, right? Mm -hmm. So I was, this is when I was a lifeguard. I was sitting and I was talking to a guest about like living in San Francisco, blah, blah, blah. Cause they asked me where I was from. And I was like, oh, I live in San Francisco. They're like, oh, for how long? And I said, my whole life. Like, what do you mean? And then she goes, oh, like, um, she said something about like, oh yeah, renting is so expensive, blah, 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 blah. And I kind of looked at her and was kind of just like, no, we don't rent. What do you mean? Because for me, again, very, very privileged. All of my immediate family that like I spoke to on a consistent basis, everybody owned their house. My mom owns her house. My dad owns, well, it's my grandpa's, but my grandparents own their house. My uncle owns his house. Like all two story nice houses, like they all own them. And I'm like, no, like they own that house. Like I don't know what you're talking about. And it's just crazy to me how like some people think that there are people in this city who don't, like you have to be like a gajillionaire to actually like own your property there. Yeah, so same thing about the passing down of house. My grandparents moved in the 70s and got the house that is our family home in the Mission District. And the name of the house is going to be split between all like the siblings. So that house is going to stay there and hopefully it never gets sold cuz now like you know. But it's like I feel like at this point you can't sell it. No. Like like my dad would never be able to sell 
that house because he's the only one who still lives in San Francisco. Exactly. Everybody else, because every everybody's getting pushed out in San Francisco, basically. It's getting gentrified like crazy. No, really. Um. So we have that house. Oh, and then the only time that we rented while I was physically alive um, was when I was from like a baby to maybe like six or seven years old and we ended up getting kicked out um, the guy wanted his house back and kicked us out he gave us like a week to move out so we were forced to live in my grandma's house in the mission district and we lived in the downstairs unit which isn't an actual unit it's like one of those illegal units illegally built units and it was a one bedroom one bathroom for four of us my sister and I slept on the couch for a year and you know it, it's not much it's just a year but it, it we had to travel from San Francisco to school every morning we'd get up like I never had my own space that was when like my sister and I started like really fighting bad like physical fights all the time and then like to have to share that's been not have your own room mm -hmm. it sucked um, and it was just it was it was hard it was it was hard it was a hard time but the, then the recession hit and my parents were able to buy a nice house that we currently have still and when they're done paying that off it's gonna come into our names and I hope to never sell that house either so I'd be wondering who is the dad who's my dad gonna leave the house to Oh, you. Yeah. I don't know. But I like. I don't have the desire to you move and back. Mark. Or Marquise. Marquise, sorry. I don't have the desire to move back. Like I don't have the desire to live in San Francisco anymore. Like because Marquise. it's not the same from when we were kids. Mm, it's not. Like, why do I see white people walking their dogs in Fillmore? <laughs> no, oh my God! Not I'm even not that. It's just like when I was growing up in the Mission District you couldn't wear a certain color on the side of the street now you have white ladies walking jogging up and down the street like it's nothing <laughs> like it's just so annoying on how like, like it's just it's crazy and my cousins grew up my cousins are like my brothers the brothers that i never had mm -hmm. so they grew up peak gang related like gangland everything uh -huh. so hearing from them and like seeing from when they were in high school to how things are now it's just so different been a lot of accidents lately and we've been blessed to not have it's to so deal with warm. that yeah i'm naturally warm <laughs> why well, i always have the ac on but yeah like the only the only way like i'm the only way i would move back to the bay is if by some miracle of god he got drafted to the niners like that's literally the only way i would move back that would be great that would be freaking great. I know my. But even then, you'll be in little... Santa Clara. No, right. You're not even in San Francisco. <sighs> I mean, but I actually like that stadium. F. Gavin Newsom. Anyways, girl, are you gonna pick a lane? I am in a lane. Oh, uh, it felt like you were on the. No, I know. Things. But yeah, like that is legitimately the only way I would move back. But then, like, part of me, like, wouldn't even want that just because I know the clout chasing people that my mom know. I couldn't do it. Being in the bay. It would just be like, oh, your daughter? Your daughter's with... Da -da -da. No. It's sad because, like, people really come out the woodworks. The woodworks first. Like, that's my biggest fear. It's gonna happen, though. It's gonna happen. Girl, ain't nobody knowing nothing until there's a ring on my finger. <laughs> Like that's that just gives me anxiety. Like all of it just gives me anxiety even now because everything about us has been so private. Like I know, like once it becomes public, it's gonna be like, oh, she's just a gold digger. Oh, blah blah this, blah blah this. I just want to set for the record straight. I was with that man before he even had a vehicle. Like literally 19 years old. Literally 19 years old. We both had no money. You're done. You're done. You're done. I'm bleeping that out. I don't need anybody knowing that. 
<laughs> Put on the wedding date. <laughs> Hello. Ma'am. <laughs> but anywho, I don't know. That's just our little uh, rant session. To make a long story short, my kids will not be struggling. And my no, kids will not yeah. know that I'm struggling if I ever yeah. am struggling. I don't want to put that brain on am, my kids. My kids won't know. I don't need them to know that we're financially in a hard place. Right. Like, I'm going to do my best to, like, literally not talk about financial situations with my kids. Like, when it comes to, like, bad things. But I, I'm also hoping that I'm, I'm not even in that situation because I'm not... I'm not having kids until I'm financially stable. Like, that's the... I know my mom wants me to wait until, like, I'm certain... I'm not doing that. The same way, uh... Oh, this is really good. I refuse to argue in front of my, my kids. My kids will not see me arguing. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to be normalized in my home. Yeah. Like, for me... I don't want to be, I don't want my kids to know me as like the strong black woman. I don't want that. I want them to be raised by a loving mom who was so like loved by their dad. Like, and that's another thing. I would never be nobody, maybe a mama. Absolutely not. I rebuke. Never will I be somebody's baby mama. Yeah, I think I need we need to, to stop normalizing first. that. Hmm? Yeah, I need to be married first. I'm not pushing out, like, no. You can literally die from having somebody's kid. I'm not dying over some dusty boy who, no. Maybe my husband, not no boy. Not no boyfriend, no, my husband. Only way. And I better be getting a push gift. Birthing scares me. It's, it has me to the point where I'm like, I either I want kids I know. or I don't. Like, I want everything. Like, I'm excited to, like, be pregnant and, like, have a belly and, like, do all that. I don't want to deal with the birth. And then I just want to Knock me out. Just take the baby. No, really. <laughs> but then I don't want a C-section. Yeah, I, I've seen bad stuff about C-sections. I don't know, but that's some years away. So, yeah. For me, it's approximately seven. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a kid in like three years. Oh, it would be like a year. No. That means I would literally have to get married now. No. I want to be married for like a year before we start trying to have. Honestly, I don't know. Would you want to get married pregnant? No. Because this is not about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is about me, and I'm not about to be walking down the aisle looking like a whale. No. Not a whale. Wrong chick. Not me. But I don't know, because I'm definitely cutting this part out. Oh, you know they told me that IUDs now last seven years? Hmm. Once I'm getting this shit out, I'm not putting it back in. That's Yeah, that's why it's perfect for me, because... Oh, that's why you said seven years. I will be cutting wrong. that out. There's still STDs. No, but I'm saying like with the boyfriend. Oh. Well, I mean, if he's cheating on me, I suppose that that is. <laughs> 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 Not that we speak from experience. <laughs> uh, embarrassing, y'all. I'm just gonna give y'all heads up. Do not ever text no girl coming to her as a woman. It's embarrassing. Maya's telling you don't do it. You did it? No. Uh, oh, I know what we're talking about. <laughs> I now know what we're talking about. It's embarrassing uh, and you look okay. pathetic. Yeah. Because okay. you're an idiot. You're just going to take him back anyways. And then everybody's just going to clown you. So, don't do it. Go. I don't Don't be that girl. I'm taking this down because there's people. Alright guys, we're back in the car. I'm in love with somebody who doesn't love me. You're not in love with him. Shut the fuck up. I'm very not in love with him. We just went to rest. Well, first of all, we went into Ulta because Homegirl had to use the bathroom. 
don't know why I even stepped foot in there because for whatever reason she said it took too long to pee and then decided to go look for something to buy. <laughs> I really, I was not looking for I made it all against like the luxury side and like didn't pick anything up. I almost picked up the Anastasia Brow Wiz uh the brow freeze applicator, but I didn't. But they had a margarita one and Target only always has uh the same three freaking smells. It's the white one, the green one, and the the rose one. one. Yeah. Like, and I don't like the coconut one, but this one is a margarita one, and it's like citrus. So I got this. And then we went to Press Juicery. Oh, I'm not gonna make that. Sorry, sister. Oh no, you're. I know you're not. I went to Press Juicery, and I got six green juices. It looks gross right now because it's not shaken. But um, it has apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, kale, and parsley. So, a green juice a day keeps the what away? I have not. I'm running errands with Maya and we're going to Target right now. Was that Mia? Yeah. And then I also got some more. She was like, what you mean? First of all, look how ghetto this is. What is this? What is this press juicery? Why is it on? Right, can't even see. Where is it? Oh, there's. You guys can't even see. It's not gonna focus. I think it's too bright. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's on crooked. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. But anyways, this just has ginger, lemon, and cayenne in it. Did I tell you that I worked out at midnight yesterday or earlier today? No. I worked out at midnight. It was. There was a football player in there. They said okay. He, he wants it clearly. Don't know about okay. it. But yeah. Although he was watching a movie while working out, I was like, how does that correlate? But okay, whatever. But yeah. Those are the vibes. That's what we got. Now we're on our way to Target. Looks like it's gonna rain. What are we even. What? I just got the car wash. Uh, I should have checked the weather. Oh. What? I was gonna say, you park inside, but you park outside for work. Yeah, oh, I mean I can long. park inside, but it's too far. I don't want to walk that far. Yeah. What are we getting from Target? I don't even know. I need toilet need paper. paper. I need oh, deodorant. Pasta. Yeah, we need stuff. I need stuff. I need deodorant. I need uh, toothpaste. I need. I'm really not trying to spend money on Target. But there was oh Celsius. That's what I need. been a chatty vlog. Oh, chill. Yeah. Just got a glimpse of Allegiant Stadium. I'm like y'all know right now, y'all will not catch me not at one UNLV football game. Not one. So I'm giving you a heads up, don't even ask me. Okay. She's, not. she's gonna go support. I'm not. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. Um, what was I going to say? Your reaction? Yeah, but I'm not going to say it on camera. Say it. I'm going to support my man. <laughs> it's never going to happen. I don't support any man that plays for UNLV. Technically, he wants to enter the transfer portal, so. Unless he's playing at Hard Rock. players in general because they're literally all garbage I just unfortunately have been hung up for three years so zero out of ten would recommend this guy. okay we're, well, let's talk about it if you are go for an O lineman don't go for anything else don't go for anything else stay away from the D lineman they're all garbage and they're all cheaters and liars that's all I gotta say. The old linemen protect their protectors. <laughs> Why do you make that face? <laughs> what are you gonna say? I'm gonna point it out. What? Say it. Say it. There's nothing to say. You're lying. You're a liar. I'm reflecting. <laughs> Why? What is he? On bad decisions. He's a defensive back. Ah, uh, 
Couldn't be me. You're never gonna get with him, so. Couldn't be me. Oh, I'm another way to go. Punching the air right now, literally. They're just big, giant teddy bears. You know me, I like my. Oh my God, what is that character's name? Hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Sinistic <laughs> from the Apple Tree. <laughs> You know me, I like my citizen. <laughs> we have such opposite types. Like, I. She literally goes after. I don't like, even go after okay. them. I attract them. But why? She attracts like thin, tiny, little twig like men. Literally. I don't know why. Me, on the other hand, I don't know why I only attract people who are six, two, and above and way over. Over like only one way over 300. I don't even think he's 300 right now. Mailman, where are you going? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there was a sound on TikTok that's like if he ain't over, or if he ain't something, below something. Yeah. Keep it pushing. Or something. something. I don't know. Big men are the way to go. Nice. No, let me stop. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Y'all, it's taking everything out of me to not buy this avocado toast squishmallow. But it's $30. And I'm like, do I really need this? I don't. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. Okay, I'm gonna put it back now. I don't need it. I don't need it. Maybe if it's here next week, it'll be meant to be. But as of right now, no. Oh, I'm gonna go look at the books. I'd be forgetting they have books. All right guys, well I literally have all of the stuff all over the kitchen. Gigi loved Mia to go to um, the study room and I said that I would put everything away because I wanted to time lapse it. But yes, we're gonna go and put our margarita scrub in the shower. I'm so excited about it. But now, is it gonna fit over here? Now this is what she looks like. So cute, but I need to change this and we're taking those down and putting up new ones. Okay, before I start the time lapse, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Target. I really do be hating shopping at Target because it's just like, it'd be so expensive for what? But we needed pepper and I don't know if there's like some type of pepper shortage going around, but like, they don't have already ground pepper. I, I really don't know where it's going. And also, <laughs> was it an, a necessity? Well, we're eventually gonna need garbage bags. Yes, but I don't know if y'all, you know, have been seeing the TikTok where it's like, material girl, about the pink garbage bags. They had freaking sage green ones. Are you kidding me? And they smell like citrus? So yeah, now we have sage green garbage bags super excited about that and then we got more oat milk and they also don't have the rigatoni noodles nobody's selling those anymore I'm not really sure what the shortage going on is but I'm upset about it also I got Celsius for the week because honestly it was like 30 cents cheaper than Alani knew but I got it to drink while I'm at work at like two o'clock in the morning so I can have the energy to go to the gym when I'm off of work. So those are the vibes I got. What did I get? I got a water, I got two watermelon, two kiwi guava, and two peach vibe. So those are the vibes. And then lastly, I got these little star face patches. They're supposed to be for your pimples because last week I had a that pimple right here and I kept picking at it. So we got these so that next time I get a pimple we're well prepared and I will stop picking at my skin. I don't feel like doing a Trader Joe's haul because we bought a lot of stuff. So those are the vibes. Oh, honestly, I wanna open this and see what it looks like because I was gonna open it in Target but it had the sticker on it and I was like, I don't wanna be that person. Because like they had the refills and then they had like the pack and I'm like, 
this is so cute it reminds me of a little lego or something but yeah oh it has a mirror in it but this is what it looks like and it has little patches on there and then you just stick the star on your face and it makes your pimple go away like after three days i think so yeah definitely gonna be using these i'm excited not to say like oh now i want a pimple but i'm like i'm promising with that <laughs> So yeah, now I'm gonna put all the groceries away. <laughs> Robin season, everything you have is all you need. Like ramen seasoning, you don't know what love is till you bleed. All right, y'all. Sorry if you can hear you for in the background, but I'm drying my last load of laundry. Uh, well, my only load. I made myself a mini charcuterie thingy because we're eating tonight. My bedding's washed, so I'm gonna eat this, watch some Euphoria, and do some homework. I'm really tired, but I'm like trying to not go to sleep but i know at seven i'm probably gonna crash my heart is healing working on thinking for a speak i do a lot of reading should have been could have been would have been would have been some of my thoughts were working these weeks out and in is it more to life than working for the weekend is it more to life than holidays to sleep in but let me quit projecting not really the cubicle could really be my own so y'all i indeed did um knock out at seven o'clock um or maybe eight. I don't know. I, I knew it was gonna happen. Um, it's Sunday, obviously. The last clip that you saw was of me facing my best friend, and I was talking about spring break and me literally knocking out. So those are the vibes. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I'm about to reheat some two-day-old pizza and make my bed, and then we're gonna try and knock out all my homework because. I have work tonight, but I go in at 11.30 because unfortunately your girl had OT this week and I wasn't supposed to, so they asked me to come in 30 minutes later, which is fine by me. So I'm also going to continue to try and finish Euphoria before the episode comes out tonight. As of right now, we're halfway done with season one, episode seven. Ugh, my dandruff is really bad, but um, and am I wearing the same top as yesterday? Yes, I am. Do I care? Absolutely not. But y'all, I'm just so happy. Oh my gosh, this new year, new me. Hopefully I can edit these videos tonight, but I need to get my homework done first because um, that's the priority. But also, it's a fish show. My, my person who I was really excited about, about being a game changer, is really moving out here and is still is like hitting me in like the craziest ways like i cannot believe it so yeah y'all stay tuned for this summer because it's about to be crazy but yeah those are the vibes i'm gonna go reheat this pizza and start on my homework um i'm pretty sure we're gonna have pasta tonight for dinner but those are the vibes i really hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs because i'm enjoying making them and i think i'm also gonna make another set active order today that just means there won't be an amazon order but that's fine <laughs> i know you're feeling me reciprocate my energy i know you're into me so just let it be